What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. How is everyone doing? We have a couple of news stories, handful of questions. Let's jump into the tech news. First, our first story of the day is about this phone, the Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. And one of my hugest, biggest, probably most pet peeves about this phone is the fingerprint sensor and how slow slash unreliable it can be at times enough to where you're like dude i'd rather just unlock the phone with the screen unlock feature like the swipe feature not the uh, fingerprint sensor but with that said why is it so slow why is it so inaccurate at times and it seems like google has come out and said that it's a feature that is causing this so on Twitter, Ian reached out to Google saying, I do love my Pixel 6, but the fingerprint sensor is ruining my experience more often than not. I touch the t sensor six or seven times before it makes me enter my pen. I'm holding out for a software fix, but it's something that makes me want to get rid of it if it persists. And Google responded, we're sorry for the hassle. The Pixel 6 fingerprint sensor utilizes enhanced security algorithms. In some instances, these added protections can take longer to verify or require more direct contact with the sensor, try troubleshooting steps. Now, ultimately we know there's not going to be a way to make that better probably, unless they really do put out an update. And that's where we're kind of at with this phone. It's, it's a huge pet peeve of mine. Uh, I've mentioned it from the day that I got it pretty much in the videos that I'm at where I was able to mention it. Um, I hope to God they push out an update that really loosens its ties on it. But I kind of think it's more hardware than software if I had to guess. They're saying it's more software than hardware. I actually think it's more hardware than software. But again, maybe I'm completely wrong. Hopefully they do put a fix in for that because right now it's kind of annoying. And I know my sister just got the phone and she cannot stand the fingerprint sensor on there. So. Next up is about the Galaxy S22 series of phones. If you know from past generations of Galaxy S series of phones, generally it's been pretty much split into two series. Like most of the world will get the Snapdragon series, the rest of the world will get the Exynos series. To where we're living in a world where like the people that have the Snapdragon generally get much better performance than the people that get the Exynos series of the phone. And it's been going back and forth with, you know, oh, the Korean uh, market is going to get the Exynos 2200 and it's going to have an AMD uh, GPU in it. And then the rest of the world or whatever will get the Snapdragon and so on and so forth. Where do we stand with this? Well, there's some rumors coming out that might make people so, kind of happy. So check out this latest rumor. This is uh, being talked about by uh, Let's Go Digital, which I think they pulled it from a Korean YouTuber or something, but ultimately it says, Samsung equips all Galaxy S22 models with the Qualcomm chip. Exclusive also in Europe, like S22 models are powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon SoC and not by Exynos 2200 an AMD GPU. And we also look at a tweet from Ishan Agarwal who says, rumors suggest that Snapdragon 898 or whatever the new Qualcomm Snapdragon flagship chipset will be called for Samsung S22 series worldwide. Looks like we are all getting the Snapdragon S series flagship from Samsung in India after a long wait. Please be true. Now I want to also talk about there's also people talking uh, on the opposite end that things haven't changed, that people that generally did get the Exynos version of the processor on the Galaxy phones will still get the Exynos version and that this rumor is incorrect. So I wanna tell you guys that, so don't go by thinking like it's definitely going to happen because it might not. Uh, it's going both ways right now. Uh, it's about 50-50 from what I've seen online. And that'll be your question of the day. Do you even want the Snapdragon version of the Galaxy S22 series of phones where you live if you don't already get it? Let me know in the comments down below. I know this looks different because I was using my regular camera and that died, so I'm off to my B-roll camera because that actually does have battery life. Um, so with that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that beat. First question of the day comes from Dwayne A. Hi, Greg, are you having any good lock issues with your fold? I like to have the screen capture on my nav bar, but now it only lasts till I close my phone. It does not seem stable anymore. Could you test that and maybe give me some tips? Dwayne, I have the beta version, obviously, of the One UI 4 software running on my Z Fold 3, 
and the and the the good lock software is not really optimized for it just yet at least from what i've noticed so probably not the, a good person to ask for that um so if you guys can help out Dwayne and let him know if you're having any good luck issues on your z fold three next question comes from new york's finest do you see everyone trading in their s21 ultra for the s22 ultra when it is released i think a lot of if we're just talking about my viewers yes i think you'll see more people trading in than not if i had to guess like I, I, who knows i mean the vocal majority might say they're not but then more people might I, I think still a lot of people do it just because it's new and people want a newer device should they is the better question they probably i mean from what we know they probably don't need to no one ever really needs to upgrade generally from one year to the next but they probably want to because the integration of the s pen some slightly better optimized camera software a faster processor things like that sharif shazad question do you agree with me that the note releasing the s21 fan edition as s21 already started with 800 and the s20 started at 700 s21 could be found for 600 considering 2020 was over do you think it's weird samsung's releasing this i think it's weird yes is it weird they're releasing the s21 fan edition so late right when the s22 launches or at least a couple weeks before yes i think it's totally weird i don't think it's necessary i don't think they should do it one ho choi which cheap set will power the s22 22 plus 22 ultra snapdragon or exynos what do you think obviously we just did a video on this what do i think is going to happen i personally think it's going to be what it has been in the past i think like for instance america will still get the snapdragon and then for instance korea india will get the exynos version and other places that always got the exynos version will still get that that's my opinion but we'll see what happens so there you guys go thank you for your questions if you have a question leave it in the comments down below with the word question and i'll potentially answer it in tomorrow's video we'll see you down the road peace